All right, welcome back everyone. Got a Red Bull. Been a while since included a little energy drink in here. Uh, try to find a pair of sneakers to wear. Got my muck boots. It's for like muddy situations like the driveway. Uh, but like every pair of sneakers I own are muddy. These are my indoor sneakers. Uh, place is a mess with a dog, I'll tell you that much. She did. She gets the zoomies. So someone, a, lot, a bunch of people actually, a while back, I used to talk about like how she just like goes crazy in the house. Like she'll just run full speed everywhere. She literally goes full speed. She jumps on the couch, pushes it back three feet, runs over here, smacks it into that, runs over there, comes back, kicks her dog bed all the way into that little like hallway area. She goes absolutely nuts. And it lasts about 25 seconds. I don't know what her whole situation is when she does that, but she goes nuts. Bunch of orders going out. We are going to a storage locker right now. Should be fun. Storage auction, that is. Should be fun. Let's get out there. Let's try to buy some lockers. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Does not look crowded. Usually at the park over here. Uh, that might be auction life over there in that blue Dodge Durango, possibly. That's my guess. My guess is Auction Life is here. If you guys don't follow him on YouTube, check him out. He's a good friend of mine. You know what? I think it's him, so I might park right next to him. Oh, there he, there he is. What a guy. Think you know a guy and you see the guy. He better go home. That's what he's got to do. I'm taking all my lockers. I only brought, well, actually, I bought, brought four locks, but it's going to get really cold next couple days. I got to get oil. I got to, um, that cable companies coming in tomorrow so I don't know if I can really buy four lockers and clean them out all in the same time but we'll see Yeah, use clothes. At 180, but 190 last call. Told right there at 180 dollar bid. It's always been sort of a, uh, you know, it's the way we've always done. In Whitehall, listen up, guys. In Whitehall today. We're selling a tractor trailer cat. Okay, it's been it's been like up in the air for years or two years now. 
So they well, finally yeah. okayed the sale. So if yeah, anybody knows well, anybody, they're going to sell we a cab, tractor trailer. Guys, <laughs> 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 nice looking locker. That was just silly. One, two, three, four, five, six milk crates, a combine, a plus these here. There's got to be, you know, I'd say a couple thousand books, and there's some age to these two guys. So, uh, there you go. I got a hundred, been a hundred and a quarter. I'm at a hundred, been a hundred and a quarter. One hundred, been a hundred and a quarter. One and a quarter, one and a half. One seventy-five, two hundred. One seventy-five, bit two hundred. I'm at a hundred and seventy-five, bit two hundred. You're all missing the boat. Yeah. One, one two hundred, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, two and a half. Yeah. 275. 250 is my bid bid 275. I'm bid 250 bid 275. I'm bid two and a half bid 275. I can't believe it. 250 bid 275. Last call. 275, 300. Three's in, three and a quarter. 300 is my bid bid three and a quarter. I'm bid 300 here bid three and a quarter. Are we all done? At 300 bid three and a quarter. Last call. So this guy, his, his, uh, what you call it, the hood just folded right up on him. I didn't even see that when it happened, but everyone else was like, yo, look, that guy doesn't, his hood's up there. So, I mean, that's got to be a pretty scary sight when your hood just flies up on you. It's getting towed right now. I bought one locker here, $140 I spent. Uh, not all right, so the lowest locker went for 120. The highest locker was the auction. Uh, the what was it? The the locker of all the comics. I bid, I think, 300 bucks. My buddies bid against each other, which was kind of funny. They bid up to about 250. Someone else got in at 275, and I think I bid 300, or I bid 275, and someone got for 300. I jumped in there late, but I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to go through all those comics, and it's a good locker. Uh, rather than picking up these $5 lockers, I think somebody might want to see a little bit something better. I paid $140 for my locker. Uh, it was kind of looked like uh, probably an antique store, but or an antique booth. But a bunch of the stuff was like $10, $15 antiques. There was a blow mold in there, lots of stuff. I got to figure out how I'm going to make my $140 back because that was a lot of funds. But uh, I'm going to head over to Allentown. I'm not going to Whitehall. And we'll do another storage locker over there. I think we'll make today's videos all storage locker fun. So, yeah. See you guys over there. All right, here we are. The next facility. So I guess that's the whole inside. There was another complex. So auction life. This guy right here. He told me to uh, park behind the facility. So there was parking lot available there's a par parking lot space available right in front i was like you know i could probably park here i didn't so i went behind the other facility and i didn't see anyone over there and i came down this really really narrow road and i could barely turn around swung all the way around and came here so i guess this is where you park I'm not really expecting things to go much cheaper than the last facility i figured out you know i'll make a cool video today we'll do a lot of stores lockers check them out i know a lot of people love these kind of these kind of things and to me this is probably like the most fun that i have in terms of all auctions and, and stuff like that is checking out storage lockers because it truly is like an absolute mystery hunt you know you really never know what you're going to see that last facility 300 bucks or 325 i can't remember for those comics kind of having buyer's remorse the comics were in really rough shape so there's probably about a hundred dollars worth of comics there maybe you know you find one or two that are worth some money 150 200 worth of comics um there were some slot car stuff like that probably locker is probably worth about 400 to 500 worth of of stuff to sell but it's kind of the gamble you take with this i spent a lot already 140 is a lot more than buying these lockers for five and ten bucks so we will see they do have these really nice green uh porcelain lampshades light fixtures on the back very very cool very industrial I didn't think the door would open.
Five dollars. Uh, worth five dollars, guys. For a good bonfire. Anybody interested in a five dollar bill? Five is all. Tractor trailer cab for sale. As is. Is there a reserve on it? Nope. Is there a picture online there? Nope. <laughs> nope. I just found out today myself. It's fine. I've been 140, but 150. I've been 140, but 150. Are we all said and done? At 100, 150, 160, 160, 170. 160 is my bid here, but 170. 160, but 170. I've been 160. Nice buy, 160 bought it. Into. Auction life here is very, very salty. He's thinking about how he should have bought the comic one. He bid that one up to like 225, then someone else came in, and then I bid at 275 or 300. Yeah. It's just one and done, I didn't even get it. So, so every locker in there is sold to the same guy, except for one. All ridiculous. For like 80 bucks for a locker, it should have probably sold for $2. Times that by like 10 times. Yeah. All right, Auction Life, it's been a pleasure. It's been fun. Check him out on YouTube if you guys want to. He does stores, lockers, stuff like me as well. He puts videos out about once, three once, weeks. Once or two, one or two a week now. We're One or two a week from Auction Life. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, guys, back home we go. Managed to make it home. We have a very, very nice package here. Uh, today has been a very, very fun day as well. Uh, picked up one locker, so I paid 140 bucks for one locker. Good thing about it is it looks like a locker that's not going to have a lot of garbage, if any garbage. So I'm kind of getting out of the buying the locker of just a million things and end up with you know five or six weeks of garbage because in the last locker that I bought, I had about five or six weeks of garbage. I have about another two weeks of garbage from that lot. Uh, so that's one thing. The downside of doing storage lockers is you're going to have a lot of trash. And it's going to be a lot of labor hours and it's going to be a lot of work to haul away for maybe $100 or $200 profit. So I spent $140 on one locker. Don't know if I'm going to get that done today or if I'm going to get it done tomorrow. Tomorrow I should be having cable internet. If I have cable internet, I can do live streams. I can also upload videos that don't take 12 hours or I have to go to McDonald's to upload a video. So this is going to be awesome. I'm very, very excited. Also, a lot of people have asked, where has the larges, the XLs, the two XLs, three XLs, where have the shirts been? So here we are, Taco Stack t-shirts, merch day. Very, very excited. What size is this? Small, all right, great. And this probably medium, yep, great. Um, but I didn't grab that many smalls or medium. I think I still have maybe five or 10 of each size respectively. So I maybe picked up about another five or six of each size. Uh, but most of these are larges, XLs, two XLs, three XLs. I have it small through five XL currently available as of today, as of right now. So head over there if you guys wanna grab a Taco Stack t-shirt, all the merchandise, uh, all the merchandise sales help benefit the channel. So uh, for something like this, I purchase a lot at one time to keep it very, very affordable for you guys. And that's why it's kind of difficult to kind of, uh, it's kind of difficult to keep everything restocked because if I'm going to order small through 5XL, I have to order a lot. And if I order a lot, it's going to be a lot of money up front. So uh, everything has been restocked. Head over to my Etsy store if you guys want to pick up a shirt. Very, very inexpensive. Great t-shirts, awesome logo. Like I said, all the proceeds help benefit the channel to make videos possible. So thank you to everyone who has supported the channel. Thank you to everyone who's been sharing videos, subscribing, uh, dropping that like button or dropping a comment, smashing that like button. Uh, it has been fun. I should be doing a storage locker video. I uh, should be releasing it either tomorrow or the next day. So we'll see what happens with that. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.